There's always, always controversy when a fight ends up in a draw. I tell you what, though, after 12 rounds of boxing, as we said, both the winners. There's no losers in there, but it's just a strange one, isn't it? It's that odd feeling. It is, but, but I, I dispute that 115-112 score because Clark had two points deducted, one for a knockdown and one for a low blow. That means that the judges had that eight rounds to four to him, and I just don't see yeah. that myself. But having said that, we were exhilarated by this 36 minutes of action. They both gave everything they've got. And if they have to do it again, yes, please. They, they, they will do it again. It's rematch and trilogy stuff, isn't it? Absolutely. Listen, you can't, John, you can't not want to see that again. I mean, look, when both guys leave it in the ring like that, yes, we thought Fabio Wardley won the fight, but a couple of rounds I said it was subjective scoring. You're not going to argue with the draw. Looks over at Johnny Nelson, he said to me, draw. He called it the draw. It was one of those fights and you go, the only benefit we all get out of this is we get to see it again. That I, was insane. I kind of said in that last round, Adam, I hope it is a draw. And I'm sitting here feeling very pleased for both guys that they've come away from that. Maybe in the heart thinking, hey, I won that, but they didn't. And we can see it all again. And that next time they do it, they can put it in a stadium. That's going to be massive. John, it's a great point. After a fantastic fight like that, they both go home with something, but still, the spectators walk out and they think it's a draw. It's not a win either way. It's, it, there's got to be a rematch. It's, the, the great thing is, they're both winners tonight. They're both going to really respect each other. The grudge is going to go out of the window, the window now, and they're just going to go back to the drawing board and work tactically on where they both need to be. Fraser Clark was magnificent tonight, by the way. We saw a different level from him, a different level, and I think he'll get better and better. Absolutely. He's got a great chin, by the way, Spence. Listen, he was trying to create history there and becoming the quickest ever to win a British heavyweight title. I thought that was absolutely sensational. The big question marks were, could, could Fraser Clark raise his game? Could he go through the levels? Well, the answer is yes. Fraser Clark and Fabio Wardley are going straight back to the dressing rooms and not doing the Sky interview in the ring. And I think that's a really sensible call. It's I know, because I've been on the other side, yeah. how difficult you want to hear from them. But you know what? It was such a thunderous and brutal fight. Let them get backstage, let them get their wits about them. Yeah, no, what they're about to do is both be medically examined because they went through a torrid war and you want them to be checked out properly at the back. We know what they're both going to say. I thought I'd win it, I won it. I respect my opponent. I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, that was absolutely insane there. What a performance from both men. Really, really good. Just so glad they've both gone and been taken to get checked over because a fight like that, both guys need looking after. Maybe going to hospital, just checking that everything's OK. That was incredible. I'd say again, as I, as I suggested in that last round, can either of them be the same again after that? Because it was such a savage contest with so much given. Can they possibly get to that level for a second time? It's Can a really, it's a really good point. And often when we were talking about Bo Holyfield and fights like that at the world title level, your second one, your third one's never quite the same. And you wonder if you know you do lose something in that in that encounter. But they need a big rest. They need to recover. The health and safety is the most important because that was brutal. That was a fight that no one here will ever forget. No one watching, no one listening, and no one that watches it back will ever forget because it's two guys that gave absolute, absolutely everything, and you can't ask for more. Yep, totally agree with that, Adam. It's, um, yeah, it was one of those work that will go down in history as one of the most memorable British heavyweight fights of all time, and that will take some beating. That both guys left it on the line. You remember Derek Chisora and and, and Dillian White, who's here in attendance, actually the manager of Fabio Walney, when they punched themselves to a standstill in that first contest. That was the sort of level we was at here, but these guys were near exhaustion.